Hello, this is Bruce Ackley from The Ohio State University, and in this presentation I will be talking about nitrogen metabolism, metabolism inhibitors. This is one in a series of talks discussing the mode of action, site of action identification chart that was developed as part of the Take Action Herbicide Resistant Management Program. This presentation will be covering the mode of action, nitrogen metabolism inhibitors. This mode of action includes group 10, also known as the glutamine synthetase inhibitors. Um, currently, only one weed species is resistant to this site of action. This site of action contains one chemical family and one active ingredient, along with one product that corresponds to that active ingredient. So, normally the take home from this chart is you can be spraying any of these products, but you are actually only spraying from this one site of action or one mode of action. Uh, but there's only one product in the site of action and mode of action. So, you know, if you're spraying it, you know you're in a different mode of action as compared to any other site or mode of action. Uh, again, to look at the same thing, to reinforce it and look at it slightly differently, one mode of action, one site of action, one herbicide family, one active ingredient within that site of action. Uh, makes it pretty nice that it goes top down. Uh, again, the common name or active ingredient name is universal. The trade name and premix mixes can have variation, not with this product. Uh, it's not listed in any premixes at the moment. It has been previously and it might be in the future. So that's always good to keep an eye out for. Uh, but glufosinate, um, pretty easy to know what you're spraying with glufosinate. It's a post-emergence post pro product, essentially no soil activity. It's contacts wherever the herbicide contacts the, the leaves of the plant. Uh, obviously better coverage, better control. Non-selective, so whatever you spray it on, unless it's a genetically modified crop, it's going to kill it. Uh, inhibits GS, ammonia builds up and destroys the cell. So chlorosis, then necrosis. Um, so the plant will become necro necro or chlorotic, and then it will be followed by necrotic tissue. Uh, onto dead tissue. Uh, so if it's not covered, if you have a, a not a full coverage, then you can get speckling. But if the, the plant's completely uh, drenched or covered, then it'll just become chlorotic, then necrotic. <clears throat> so this is number six of 11 with the mode of action, site of action, identification chart discussion. Uh, visit the first link for more information on, information on site of action education. Visit the second link to view time-elapsed photography movies of herbicide injury on plants and other educational weed science videos. Thank you for watching and listening, and thank you to our sponsors for their support with this project.